knowing that we were moving into the woods, we were just crying and really sad. Like, how could our situation get so much worse to the point where we have to live in a tent every night? And it was just really scary. And we begged our mom if there was any other way that we could um, not move into the woods. And we were just trying to think of people we could stay with and just how we could make our situation better because we were just really scared. We stayed in the woods for six months from January to June. Some nights it would be cold and then some days it would be just like extremely hot. It was just really a different experience. I feel like when we lived in the woods, um, we became more thankful for the things that we had. Like um, we had a mattress, but it was broken and we both had to sleep on it in our tent. And um, it rained a lot. And so that was just super hard because we had to, had to set up a tarp and just so we could um, not get wet. Struggle. And before we came in the woods, I hated school, but like whenever you come out here, you like go to school and it's like you're so thankful for it because yep. you just have air conditioning. It's just a getaway and um, friends are there and you get food provided for you and you just become really thankful for things that you wouldn't be whenever you live in a home and it's just normal life. This was our old uh, tire swing rope, and we didn't have many things to play with out here. Sometimes it would just get boring. So um, we found a tire back in the woods, and uh, we found a rope, and then we just tied it up, and we would swing on it and just play lots of games with it. And it was just uh, something to do during the day whenever we were bored. actually our campfire like where we used to cook meals like what did we make we made like um oh we made s'mores yeah whenever our mom's boyfriend was away and um he like spent the night at another friend's campground or something we would make s'mores with our mom and then um we Can sang and cooked stuff yeah we would sing songs and we cook like soup and stuff on it we found pots and all that stuff so it's just basically if you did want to cook something, this is where we cook it, which we didn't get to do that often. It was just kind of like a special time to cook things every once in a while. Hit fire kitchen. Yep. It's kind of like we're camping, except all the time. Every day. Yep. just 
really didn't have an opportunity to have a pantry and just have food um, all the time for whenever we wanted a snack. So we would walk across the street and we'd go to this racetrack and we'd use our mom's food stamps card um, just to eat snacks like nachos or hot dogs. Yeah chips, stuff like that. Yeah, the nachos were really good. They were we like, ate them most of the time. That was like majority of the time, the nachos were the bomb. So yeah. we should actually get nachos like right now. That would be awesome. <laughs> Whenever we got our food and um, instead of going to the woods where bugs would just eat at our food, We'd like to sit on the side of the building here at the racetrack. Police officer actually came to us and told us, you are loitering and you're not allowed to do this. And, um, and it's just really hard to find a place to just sit down and eat your food. And um, it's not an experience you get like when you live in a home and it was kind of difficult, but it was just really a struggle. And um, it's not like you get to sit down with your family and eat and talk about like how your day was and um, if you had a good day or something or just eat like a really good home cooked meal. It's just basically eating junk over and over again in just a dirty place or somewhere you can find to eat. I feel like you're going against the law, but that's the only way to make uh, your life work and just make ends meet. One night we were um, sleeping and then the police came in and they just started like searching through our tents and looking through our stuff. It was kind of weird because they were looking through our stuff. I guess they were just making sure we weren't doing anything bad in the woods. And we got in trouble for trespassing because it was private property and we weren't allowed to be here. And so um, then my mom just got to the point where it just wasn't a good environment so she called our aunt and then our aunt came and pick us, picked us up. Mm -hmm.